College Kabat played host to people from all walks of life. The occasion was the graduation and 20th annual speech and prize giving this ceremony of the college, involving 133 outgoing students. <laughs> Parents, teachers, and other stakeholders were excited considering the fact that the 2020-2021 academic year was each free. As usual, a number of social cultural activities were in place to entertain the audience. Prominent among them was a session of cultural performances which cut across different ethnic backgrounds to illustrate the popular slogan of unity in diversity. <laughs> Other activities in place to entertain the people include a drama sketch, comedy session, the edition of Yoruba poet known as Ewi, and choreography involving the display of dancing skills.
launching of the yearbook, cutting of graduation cake, and presentation of prizes of various categories were part of the high points worthy of note. Chairman of the occasion and Professor Kaba College of Agriculture, Division of Agricultural Colleges of Amadou Bello University, Zaria, Dr. Oluwaye Misi Olobatuke, who was represented, emphasized the need for proper education of the heart and mind to achieve a peaceful and progressive society. Educating the mind is giving them what it takes to be successful in life, to be able to add value. But educating the heart is teaching them to be humane, so that they behave like human beings. If we can be able to teach the mind and the heart, then there is a lot for us to gain. Because all the problem of insecurity will be out of the way. People will love each other, will not be tribalistic, will not be practicing nepotism, and all the rest of it as we see. Will not be having dividing and rule game that we have in the politics. What we'll be thinking is how to add value to life how to make our world a better place every day. And then we will have value for everybody. We will not be fighting the, 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 the issue of rat race and then uh, being drunk with power, looking for power at all costs, or trying to put somebody down because you want to rise up. We believe that whatever we have to be comfortable is what matters, not trying to do competition. And that is what our world will be. It will be a world for all and a beautiful place to live for all. The need for female child to be relevant in the male dominated society took the center stage as the guest speaker and provost Kogi State College of Education Technical Kaba. Mrs. Olushola Jagoro delivered her paper. As we walk out today, I will set my feet on the sand of time. To be relevant it's not something you can get on a platter of goods you have to work for it so what i'm saying in essence is that there is there's hard work attached to it if you must be relevant you must be hard working and a woman or a girl child must prepare her mind not to be among ordinary if you want if you don't want to be among ordinary you want to be among people that matters then definitely you have to work hard educating the female child according to her we increase productivity, which we in turn bring about remarkable positive changes in terms of social, economic, and political development. When you educate a man, he's for himself. But when you educate a woman, the women, women are everywhere. They, they, they are alive, they want to share, they want to interact with people. Then the children are more with the children, with the, with the woman, than, the, than with, the, with the man in the house. Men have only time for themselves. They don't have time for some other people, except if it is something that is uh, uh, gen something general, something like that. But for, for um, time for themselves, they think more of themselves. A woman will take her time to train, to teach. To, to, it's every, a woman is everything at home. And so the children, more often than not, they go after them. The representative of the Federal Minister of Education was also on ground to deliver goodwill message. I want to congratulate the principal, the management and staff of the college for a successful session. We thank God for his divine protection over them. Despite all the insecurity in the country, God has protected them. I want to congratulate them. 
And I want to thank the principal for the level of development that is taking place during her tenure, within her church stage. Right from the gate, you can see evidence of all the projects she has been able to execute within one year. So I want to congratulate her because I know by the time she will be leaving here, she will leave her footprint that will never be forgotten in the history of the college. And to the graduating students, I want to congratulate their parents and them because the topic the theme of their graduation is the relevance of the gay shy in a male-dominated society. I want to tell them that secondary education is just the foundation of their achievements in life. So they should go and build on the foundation that has already been laid. And I wish them success in all their life endeavors. And to the younger ones, the junior students that will be leaving behind, as they go on holidays, I want to encourage them to stay safe. Because the society of Nigeria of today is not what we used to know. So they should be conscious, they, be, they should be safety conscious, because the society is no longer what it used to be. And I pray as they go home, that Lord will protect them from all evil that is prevailing in our society. Principal of the college, while giving a count of stewardship, highlighted a number of outstanding accomplishments in terms of procurement of office equipment, renovation of existing structures, and building of new ones. I would say we have improved and uh, there is room for improvement anyway. We can still do better, but I would say we have improved. We are above average, but we are aiming for the top. We want to be one of the best school, federal government colleges in Nigeria. Right from landscaping of this environment, and that's where we started, landscaping of the environment, building a bungalow for the VP's accommodation, starting a new nursery primary school, renovating things here and there. There are structures we have started and we are looking for funds to complete as well. So it's just inflow of resources from the ministry. There were words of advice for the graduating students by the principal, guest speaker, and other dignities at the occasion. They should find something to engage them meaningfully as they go. They are just starting life. Life is not about, it's not what they think it is. I've told them that even when you obey instructions and you are obedient, life is still difficult as a lady. They can they add the address of the girl speaker, but with determination, a, a girl can go as far as she is, she plans to, in life. You can see the, all the establishments in uh, Kaba now. This federal government girls college is being headed by a female. The Amadou Bello a Greek session too is being headed by a fair female. The College of Education Provost is also a female. So they can see they have good examples all around them. It's just for them to take the bull by the horn, give themselves good self-esteem, and achieve whatever they plan to achieve in life. Destiny cannot be such a cannot change. But you have, you have to be on the path of God. The next phase of their life that I believe that is so challenging because they are so where they are going now, higher institution, they are free, their parent is not with them, nobody is to take care of them. I will advise them that they should shun courtesy, also, they should not involve in examination and practice, they should not move with bad companies because, because of freedom. Some of them they will ruin the graduation they've had in, in primary in, in nursery to primary primary to secondary, and now this secondary to higher institution, so they should be careful of the type of person they are moving with. I pray that Lord will take them to their next level in Jesus' name. To the Edgar and other graduating students, the event can be described as a dream come true, considering the fact that their journey of six years ended a huge success after overcoming a number of challenges. 
it was good all the way, but it was really challenging, as in, in especially in time of edu- um, academic activity. There has been a lot, a whole lot for me to handle both the academic activity and this leadership activity. To control the old school is not really, it's really challenging. So, but it has been good all the way. It's a very good thing because God has really helped me for the past six years and finally I'm leaving secondary school. So I'm very happy. And I want to say thank you to everybody that has helped me to reach this stage. My parents, my teachers, my loved ones, my friends, NTA group, because my daddy works there. Everybody, thank you so much. A medical doctor, a neurosurgeon to be precise. A journey of six years is finally coming to an end. Many challenges in our front, many things we do face. But I think we should give thanks to the Almighty God who made all things possible. And I'm happy living my great alma mater. Um, I'm happy for today because it has not been easy for the past six years. They said the journey of six years starts with a step. And I thank God that I'm completing today and I'm happy for myself. And it's a great joy for me today. Because it has not been easy for me. For the past six years, I know what I have faced. But I thank God today, I'm alive to see today. Many of my mates are not alive to see today. But I thank God, I'm grateful to God that I'm alive to see today. I would love to be a chartered accountant. First of all, I want to say thank God, alhamdulillah, for seeing today. Because of many challenges I faced for my just one. Now, I'm graduating. Six years in secondary school has ended.